Hello there. Welcome to another run, this time featuring Water Skull, the new reformed Water Skull, who received a lot of updates in the recent reformed 1.4 patch. For a start, his basic attack has been changed to magical. Yay! Everyone can rejoice. The magic boy actually has a magic basic attack. His uh, actual attack itself is is sped up the the uppercut the first uppercut look at the animations by the way look at how fluid uh, pun intended this looks it looks amazing but if you hold forward while doing it he's got that that that, that rapid little screw where he shoots forward before he does the the first punch really really good and the speed increase wow i love it it still feels heavy enough to be a power skull punch but still really good now his waves his unique mechanic where he summons waves the knockback, the distance, the duration, it's all been tweaked to make it more user-friendly because a big issue that happened before was the waves were pushing enemies too far away or just carrying enemies around in a way that made it hard for you to even combo them or keep up with them. Because water is a slow boy, it's like, I washed the enemies over there, now I gotta chase after them. Wow, that's kind of annoying, come back here. And they wanted to kind of fix that. Uh, he's had his ebb tide skill removed and has a new one called Lake of the Spirit added, which... I think is a hilarious mistranslation. I think it should be Spirit of the Lake, but maybe, hey, maybe it's Lake of the Spirit. Who knows? Uh, and had cooldown and damage, you know, tweaks, the same as, as a lot of other skulls have had. Overall, he just feels a lot smoother and a lot nicer. Um, and this dive, we're allowed to go under the water and move around for a little bit with increased movement speed, kind of evade some problems. I'm gonna go underwater and then, bop, water the tree. Water the tree. Look at how much faster he feels. Like, I'm actually convinced it might be faster just to just to move around by doing his basic attacks. Like, that's a joke. But still, it feels really fast. And just the sheer fact that his basic attack is now magic is adding so much to his damage. You don't realize, like, how much you really need his basic attack to be the same, the same type as the rest of his... Oh my god, that splash went really high. Did that actually hit the tree above? Dude, wait a minute. That splash actually... Whoa, that is a really high attack. That's got some verticality. I'm I'm a fan of this. I'm a fan of this. Um, that water is going to be wasted, but you know what? The grass will, will appreciate it and enjoy it and will hopefully say nice things about me on, on, on Yelp. You know, give me a good review for the water. Now, please die. My goal is actually to get a hold of the new skill, the Spirit of the Lake, but... I've been resetting. It's the same day. It is the same day as all the other previous videos, as the, the ghoul, the champion, um, the ant. It is the same day, and I'm trying to get as many done in the one day as possible while my brain is still fresh and trying to think of all this stuff. Now, I'm going to sell the Discolored Dark Quartz. I don't need it. We're going to take the Hate Stone for some magic damage. That's good magic. I'm not going to take the pike because, hey, at least Little Skull doubles as a good magic support partner for the Water Skull in the meantime. But seeing as how I'm recording all of these in the one day, I do want to try my best to get uh, the new skills uh, covered if I can. And having found Water Skull at all at the beginning, I think to myself, you know what, I should just go with it. I'm not going to find... Um, the one that I'm after by repeatedly resetting. I might just get lucky and have to reset and re-roll into it from the uh, the re-roll NPC. There we go. Get get bullied, big man. Now, give me... I was gonna say, give me something that's at least selling for 10 fragments so I could get to that 30 before coming into a Rockney here. But you know what? Forget about it. It doesn't matter. We're gonna get upgraded sooner than later. Ooh. Ooh, hello. A chance to... Get some gains, a chance to gain some stuff. I'm just going to start from the far left. Poisoned, that's okay. Now I'm toxic water. If I open this while I'm underwater, nah, it doesn't. It doesn't pause. I was going to say, if it pauses the underwater frame, I'd be able to get really cheesy with it. Um, you are actually going to make me open as many of these as possible, aren't you? Although the extra the extra fragments, not going to complain. The extra fragments, we now have 32. Um, all right, is that 35? That's three fragments every time, right? Yeah, 35. Cool, so... Oh, an explosion. Should have... Should have... I should have guessed that it was gonna be... God, look at all the fragments, though. Okay, so far that's like 12 fragments. This is worth it just for the fragments alone. Okay, it's not worth it for you, sir. Can you... Can you not? You're going to? Alright, that's... That's whatever. 
Let's open this. As long as I don't find, like, a big tactical nuke. Ah, there we go. The key. Now, can I get another mana suppressor? Or even pain and despair, you know. Don't give me Hope Slasher. Don't give me Doomsday. I'm going to get Doomsday. You watch. Now the Mana Suppressor. Now the Mana Suppressor. Oh, dude. Okay, it's Destiny. It's Destiny. Um, I feel like I've already gotten everything that I could get that's really good from these chests. So I'm not really sure I want to keep tempting Fate. But you know what? Let's tempt a little bit of Fate. Let's tempt a little bit. Of, let's tempt a little bit more Fate. Let's, let's tempt a little bit. Nah, you know what? You know what? Wait, what am I on life-wise? Oh, I'm on 102 life. I'm okay. I'm okay. It's not It's not that bad. We can open this. We can... Okay, or we can't. I'm just saying we could... Do, do you really think I'm hurting for quartz right now? Do you really think quartz is what I'm what I'm in need of? I am, I am most definitely not in a dire need for more quartz. Some money would be good. Or, you know, a, a nice poke to the bum. Sure, why not? Whatever. Is this the last one? Last one? Some Some life back, maybe? No, just a dude in a chest ready to hit me? Okay. That's cool too, I guess. Is that actually the last chest? Yes, it is. Okay, this room has been... This room is clear. We've done it. So not only did we get a whole bunch of fragments from that... Sorry, Warrior. Your fragments will go to good use. Warrior will come soon. Um, Warrior has to happen soon. Don't worry. I know. I know. In the meantime, we got a lot of fragments. We got Netherman Suppressor in Act 1. Absolutely fantastic beautiful even though he's not a balanced skull i will still be looking for ritual stuff to give him a big magic boost which will also then give a big boost to splish splash to nether mana suppressor because of the cooldown increasing effect it's just it's just nice look at this though what a skull he's splishing and splashing dude it feels good it feels really nice it feels it feels crisp you know it feels clean um ignite i would have i would have taken kabooma <laughs> Believe it or not, yes. I would once again take Kabuma. We have double tactics. Can I get... Can I get a triple tactics? I don't have anything for the insignia, sadly. And I would... I would take it, but I don't really want to right now. I'm just going to do a quick re-roll. Regret my decisions. Maybe I go and grab this, uh, this yummy food here just to make up for that really, really, really aggressive and quite hurtful um, chest room back there. All right? It's meant to be all about treasure and fun, and instead it was about trying to, to kill me. I'm, I'm, but I'm the water guy. You don't kill the water guy. Yo, the speed. Okay, if I could get pain and despair on this. Look at the speed right now. Yo, shoutouts to Ant from last run. Boom. Ooh. Ooh, nasty. I like it, dude. I actually really like it. It's, it's, it feels snappy, you know? I love how some of these new skulls just... New skulls. I'm I'm an idiot. How some of these new updates and, and reformations on these previous skulls is kind of, you know... It's making them feel new. It's making them feel fresh and alive, you know? I like it. Now, let's get some big Scully Boy damage initially, and then we swap. Oh, that's right. His swap doesn't do that. Although, although, I'm, I'm happy to see that his... His little underwater splashy effect is um, reaching high enough to poke Dickerson's chin. You know, water the tree. It's it's good enough to water the tree. Now that is something that they did. They nerfed little boy skull, right? They nerfed skull. They actually nerfed the best little common boy who doesn't level up ever. For a start, you can no longer throw his head in the air more than once per jump. So you know, if you're doing uh. <laughs> Try me. If you're doing multiple air attacks like you used to be able to do, you can't do that anymore. If you jump up in the air and you throw... I'll show you. If you throw his skull in the air, let's say hypothetically we throw this, then we catch it, and then we throw, and then we... Uh, 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 uh. See, we can't. We can't. We're stuck. See? So we throw, we catch, we dash. I can't throw it. It's grayed out until you touch the ground again. Yo, that's a lot of life back. Thank you. I didn't really need to buy that food now, did I? Um... It's, I believe it's a way to stop Skull from traversing the sides of walls, since he can no longer throw it again. Um, something else that seems a bit weird that happens is if you throw it in the air, if you do his, his Skull catch against an enemy after you've just thrown the Skull at him, it really seems to hard pull Skull down to the ground. Like, he, he drops to the ground really fast. Maybe so he can get more attacks in, I'm not sure, but doesn't matter. Yo, is that Lake of the Spirit? 
Sick! We got what we wanted. That's amazing. So, when dealing damage, still gains charges, still does moisture waves. It hasn't really changed since the original version of Skull. His, his mechanic is still intact. They've just refined it and made it work a little bit smoother. So, in addition to hiding underwater and doing damage, when reappearing, we spray the air with water, doing magic damage now when we come out of our dive. And the Lake of the Spirit creates a Lake of Spirits that lasts for 10 seconds. While within the lake, our damage with magic is increased by 30%, and we continuously gain charges. Deals magic damage to enemies within the lake. Um, I'm not going to waste it. I'm instead going to go straight into the next room and show you it. Um, no, I'm not. I'm going to come into the next room and be presented with Imp. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's do it. We've already done the first room. Let's just go down here and do it. I'll take Imp. Why not? If I get Diorite Circle, it'll it'll work really well with him. And you know what? Ugh, get splashed. Get splashed. Die. I see. I see. I see a reward. I see a little... I see a little morsel of good stuff up here. Um, let me get that. Now, if I throw my head over there, and then I... Whoops. I... Yeah, that's good enough. <laughs> Yeah, that's good enough. Don't look at me. Oh, look at the sneaks. Look at the sneaks. Check out the sneaky sneaks. Actually, I've got to go left. Let's go left. This is why I keep Little Skull sometimes, because his, his usefulness with his little skull toss, it's just it's just handy. Go, leave. My goodness. Ah, oh, i got to hide in a box. I like the little hand. The little hand coming out. <laughs> you'll, never, you'll never take me alive. You know what? Forget this. Forget this. Lake water spirit. Oh, dude. Oh, It creates this water splashy area on the ground. And look at all the waves. The waves are still building. 30% more magic damage. Big damage to dudes while they're standing in it. It's just, it's just, uh. It's just nice, you know? It's just, it's just nice to have nice things sometimes. Now, is there anything down here? I don't really care. I'm just gonna, yeah, yeah there, there is. Okay. I'm gonna go underwater real quick and splish splash on these dudes. Look how easy it is for him to kill dudes down here like this. It's it's actually pretty pretty wild that Water Skull of all skulls is doing doing some crazy good damage. Um, I know we've got Nether Mana Suppressor and that's helping out a lot, but still. Ah, it's just Dark Quartz. I don't care. Ah, Flashbang Warning. My God, it's so bright. Um, hey, at the very least, we got a little bit more Fragment action. We got some. Uh, some kills in, showed off the Water Lake Spirit move. And more importantly, we get Imp! Which I don't think I've properly shown off before. So Imp, if I haven't shown it to you, is a very interesting quintessence. You permanently have a trio of prankster imps. They move around, deal magic damage. They just fight for you, basically. They're always there. And all you really need to do is press the quintessence button and it summons the imps back to where you are, just in case you get separated from them. Yo, prisoner, thank you for your sacrifice. The Water Skull appreciates this. Um, here, get, get wet, big boys. Get, get sloshed, get soaked in this Wata. Bruce Lee's favorite beverage, Wata. Um, I'm not apologizing for it. Shut up, you laughed. Uh, Ice Skull, my hardened friend. I would totally take Ice Skull, Frost, I should say. I should totally take Frost Skull, shouldn't I? I should do it, just for the sake of, of having the duo together. I don't want any of that. Okay, it's all, it's all, it's all meh. Whatever. Uh, freezies. Wetties. Waters on the groundies. Baka, I splash you. I'm gonna stand over here. I'm gonna stand over here. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing. Look at the little imps running around being savage. Now the imps, when the imps do damage, they uh, do trigger, like I mentioned before, diorite circlet. Since Diorite Circlet triggers from Quintessence attacks, it does count. Which is why it's actually a pretty... Whoa, dude, what was that? Damn it! Whoa! Alright, Waters, calm down, Water Skull. Damn, I really want to get some more tactics on this. Damn! Um, what was I even saying before Water Skull smashed thoughts out of my head with his wetness? Um... Damn, I actually lost my train of thought. I rarely lose my train of thought when I'm talking about stuff like this. I just did. Um, here, get underwater. Splish splash. Die, he says. Die. Yo, he's hitting so hard. You have no right to... Look at the water all over the screen. The water is so strong, dude. 
No, you're dead. You're dead. He's getting his body's getting bopped around. Here, can I just stop you with the power of of hot wetness? There you go. I realize I just said hot wetness. Boiling water. Ah, oh, I need to get mummy, but at the same time, shade would be kind of fun to mess with. I feel like there's so many videos where shade is appearing and I can't keep him. But no, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. All I need to do is get a little bit more before the end of the sisters fight, and we can get legendary pretty quick. Um, yeah, he doesn't know I'm here. <laughs> wetness. Dude, damage. Damage and wetness. Take this. Uh, here, I'll just, I'll just come back here and punch you up a little bit. Nice! Now I'm gonna go underwater. Splash! No, I don't want to get hit by that. Can I summon my imps over here, please? I don't even know if they're... Are you guys even close to near me? I need to bring them back. There we go. They took care of that other problem. We come over here. Mummy again? Wow. Mummy run coming eventually as well. Mummy got some some nice changes. Uh, two new weapons. Um, there's a ray gun. There's a homing missile launcher. Uh, nothing, nothing like humongous the way that, say, Ant or Water got. You know, it wasn't like a really big deal for Mummy. But just getting uh, some nice quality of life stuff, you know. Mummy got some nice, some nice QOL. You know, we like QOL changes. They're, they're good. They're good. We like QOL. Some of the imps up here because they're just not here doing their job. Swap to Frosty for a little bit. Just to get that extra damage and get that sweet water swap ready. Oh, big damage. You know, they actually nerfed water skull swap damage. Oh, cool. Well, there's the 100 fragments we need to get water skull to legendary. Anything extra is just going to go to Frost. Although I don't really... I'm not, I'm not worried about getting Frost a lot more, to be honest. Prayer of Grace is a direct damage boost for our Nether Mana Suppressor. As well as, it's just, you know, it's just a good thing to take. It's, it's, it's fine. It's good. I'm not going to worry about... Uh, get underwater. <laughs> it feels so, so cheesy and so kind of like, almost like dicky to go underwater like that and, and, and totally bait the enemies into just standing in the water for long periods of time. It's kind of silly, really. No, no, you're not doing that. You're not, no, 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 no. There we go. Grab the money in this room. Let's head out now. What do I want to do here? I want to. I want to get underwater. Is what I want to do, of course. And then splish splash, dude. That's so silly. It's so, dude. Look at the water damage. He's dead. Splash. Like, d damn. I don't think he's meant to die that easily. But he is. Also, shoutouts to. <gasps> Hiccups! Oh my god, please. Not now. God, hiccups are annoying. Remember the trick. Stick your tongue out as far as you can, like, you're, you know, you're poking tongue at someone. Clench your tongue between your lips and swallow. Might take a second to pull off, but if you do, I, I promise you, like, like maybe six, seven out of ten of you will, will actually have that work. It sounds dumb, but surprisingly, it actually does something. Um, I don't really know how I want to set up the water. Maybe just like this. And then... Did that reach her? Dude, if that actually reached her, that's insane. I'm just gonna sit here and, and smack her a little bit, you know. Give us give us some friendly taps, you know. There we go. Get this water on the screen, you know. Wet and wild world over here. We love it. We love to see it. There we go. Down she goes. Nice and fast. I like it. I like it. Unexpected, but I like it nonetheless. My little imps are bouncing. As far as the quintessence goes, as far as damage goes, they're not really, you know... They're not insane, but they're, they're putting in the effort. They're, they're, they're trying. I, I appreciate the fact that they're trying. What I really need is Diorite Circlet to really... Oh my god, what's happening? What is the damage over here? Hello? Madam? Does the Spirit of the Lake attack really do that much damage? What the hell? Get ready. I'm underwater. <laughs> you can't hurt me. I am under the water. <laughs> right, it's the immediate thing that popped into my head. Hello, I am under the water. Help me. <laughs> I love that guy so much. It's such a good video. Oh, this has been a very long day of Diorite Circle it! Woo! Rigged! Start screaming it in the comments. Rigged. Okay, Imps is now amazing for me. Imps is actually amazing for me. I don't believe it. Uh, like I was saying, it's been a really long day of recording a lot of Skull videos to get ready with this, this new update, but... Damn, I'm I'm actually amazed. By the way, can I just point out, I've said this before, but Water Skull's legendary form looks badass. Like, 
he doesn't just look like an elemental spirit. He kind of looks like some sort of like really just badass like like gang dude. Like like he's toxic waste. Like don't mess with me. Like he's he's dangerous looking. Now he still has the moisture charges. Unleashes waves. Still does that. When the waves disappear, it sprays the air with water. So the waves do extra stuff, of course. When swapping, it sprays the air with water and unleashes two waves. Dealing magic damage. Uh, gains charges for five seconds, which is good. It'll, it'll go hand in hand with the Lake of the Spirit. Now, dive, hides underwater, reappears, sprays the area. Based on the number of current waves, increases the water spray and pillar damage. So we want to boost a lot of a lot of waves on the screen, do some dives, big damage. The Lake of the Spirit move still has a 10 second duration. Uh, when within the lake, magic damage is boosted by 50%. It's been progressively getting higher and higher. Deals magic damage to enemies in the lake and base number of uh, waves increase the size of the lake. So what we want to do initially, I believe, is maybe swap, do a few hits, get some damage out there, get some waves on the screen. Uh, get some wavies out there. Will this reach? That's disgusting. I can't believe that actually reached. And now we've got some wavies. What if I put it here? That's that's kind of that's kind of wave tastic, right? It's gonna kill that that Broga guy for me, maybe. Oh, it definitely did. Yo, it's kind of violent over there, actually. Now that I look at it, it's a lot more wave action over there than I expected initially. Use Power Skull Slam move to get some some extra cheese going. Yo, that splash though, that's pretty nice. I like that. Um, run in, bully some dudes. I'm gonna swap back to. Ooh, in a flame. Not a bad, not a bad option for this right now. Not a bad option. Okay, the swap alone does a lot of damage right now. Kind of crazy. Water. Wet. Lots of moisture. Deal with it, son. Splash. He got pushed onto spikes. <gasps> oh, that was so aggressive. The water pushing that poor little thing onto spikes. That's mean. Ooh, here we go, actually. Now, I have one balance skull. Doesn't matter. Mana Bone is a tactics item. We have three out of seven. Where is my ritual stuff? Please, where is my ritual stuff? I'm not going to worry about that. I could take Arc Demon up there, but right now, um, Imps is doing more with my Diorite circlet for me. Um, when they actually want to do damage and hit. Are they actually hitting? Please tell me they're actually hitting and not just wasting time. If they're not even doing... Are they... I'm not even seeing Diorite Circlet proc. Please tell me Diorite Circlet is activating. Let me let me just summon the imps here and, and, and see them do damage. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. They're not doing it. <gasps> but they used to. Has this been changed? When was this changed? They're hitting him, though, and they're not... Okay, we need to get rid of imps. Okay, so it turns out the imps are not doing what they would have done before. Crazy. Crazy. Is that a lot of damage with the water, though? It is a lot of damage with the water, though. I am blown away. I am actually, like, amazed that it's not... Doesn't matter. Gives me a chance to find something better. I could find something better. I don't need to worry about it. We have other cool stuff on our side, you know? We've got... We've got cool stuff. We've, we've got plenty of good magic quintessences that we could be using. Forget about it. Big water damage. Big wet and wild. He's doing big damage! Splash. You're screwed. <laughs> Get some. Like Banshee, for example. You know what? I'll take Banshee. Forget it. I'm just, I'm eager to get rid of imps now. I can't believe they weren't triggering it. You watch someone point out to me. Beals, you're an idiot. They were triggering it. You're looking at the wrong buff. I'm, I'm waiting for it, dude. I'm, I'll, I'll gladly wait and receive word that I'm, I'm just dumb. And that this whole time, that was happening. Now, let's get under Wawa. No. No, Banshee's singing her song. She's playing her music. She's not really singing. She's just playing playing the tune. Um, we have slime here. Uh, the, the fixed slime. Yes, everyone's sad to find out that slime is fixed. But you know what? If I got a double mana suppressor, or a double mana bone, or a double hate stone. I mean, hate stone preferably not, but I'm looking for tactics. Give me tactics. Nether mana suppressor. Nether mana suppressor. 
Now the mana su uh, actually that's not that bad. It helps boost Nether Mana Suppressor a little bit, and the cooldown stuff is nice. Um, you know what? The cooldown on Banshee is enormous. Diorite Circlet is good, but the cooldown thing is enormous. I'd rather just get some crit. Because the cooldown on Banshee is too big. It's 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 too big for a Diorite Circlet build. If I keep Diorite Circlet, I'm effectively nerfing myself and making life more difficult unnecessarily. Is that wave gonna kill that guy? That's my question. Wow. It's a lot of splishy splashy happening down there. Wow. A lot of splishy splashy. Wait for it. Oh. I thought I had to kill him with the power of water, but he died inevitably on his own anyway with the power of splishies and splashies. <gasps> wow. We have Pot of Greed. We have Lunar Ring. I'll take them both, please. Ditch this. Give me this ditch. Hmm. What should I do? I might ditch Thief Farm. You know, I'll ditch the Assassin Dagger. I don't really need Assassin Dagger. It's madness, but I don't need it. I really don't need it. The farmer is just there to be funny, I guess. Ha ha, whatever. So we have the legendary Water Skull. We have the Nether Man Suppressor and the Pot of Greed. 45% more damage. It's not bad. A little bit of Miser, whatever. The Ring, more tactics. Tactics, tactics, tactics. We want tactics. If you know me, you know I like having my tactics on my magic builds. It's like, it just makes them even stronger. Literally, it makes them better. And we want to make them better. Activate Banshee, get under Wawas. No, 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 no. Finish your music. Finish your music. Man, the, the mana bone is doing a lot of damage. I expected it to kind of suck, to be honest. I was I was thinking it's more or less just there as a as like a, 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 a stat stick to try and give me some more tactics, but it's actually doing stuff on its own. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um big swappies, big underwater divies. And I'm going to come down and drop the spirit. The spirit of the waters on top of this big broga. And then if I stand about here, I can hit them both with splishies. Unfortunately, the tree is not susceptible to splishies right now, but I will make him susceptible to the splishies. Now, uh, upon... S Wait, why am I getting a bigger... Oh. No, I actually don't understand. I've got 59% when I'm as Frost Skull, and then I go down to 30% when I go to Water Skull. Is Frosty Boy affecting cooldowns or something? What's what's happening when I'm swapping? Into Frosty. What's what's happening here? I've almost got like 20-30% more more cooldown increase when I'm as specifically as Frost Skull. I don't have anything that should be doing that. Why is it doing that? Do I have what what inscriptions do I have here doing that? I have no idea. Sorcery. I know so yes. Sorcery but sorcery doesn't work on swaps. Why? I'm not actually I'm I'm confused. You explain. If you guys understand, explain. I'm being stupid. It's been a long day. It's it's been it's been a long day. I'm I'm apolog I apologize, alright. Now get all these waves on the screen. Big water damage. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, look at look at the big water. Look at this water damage now. Yo, get wet? Get wet on! Get wet on! Yeah! Splashing! Get under the water. Oh, I came out just as he was slamming. Actually, it doesn't matter. She, she's dead. Wow, dude. That's amazing. Look at all the water, dude. It's a theme park. We're at Wet and Wild World, starring Water Skull, murderous evil water spirit. I mean, he's not that evil. He's kind of fun. How dare you call him a murderous water spirit? He's not even murderous at all. This is actually insane. Like... I, I realize that this is Water Skull that I'm using. I would expect stuff like that from Frost Skull. I would expect it from Alchemist. But to be able to kill the Chimera, like, that effectively, is just not something Water is known for. Another special room? Come on now. We've had all of them. You can't be spoiling me like this game. Oh, you're not spoiling me at all. You're giving me trash to deal with. Nah, I'm not even gonna take it, dude. Selling it would be a stain on my name. No. What do we got here? The voodoo doll. Do I have anything that I would... I mean, I guess I should ditch the thief armor. Because realistically, the voodoo doll is going to give me 15% more pot of greed. And if it triggers, we get 80% more damage. We get some spring, which is nice. Necromancy, which is nice. Yeah, may as well, you know. There we go. Activate. Activate the banshee. Are you, you going to be stopped? Oh no, he just, he just gets killed. That, that makes sense, I guess. Activate this, activate this, big splashies. We just killed that man. That man upstairs. Yeah, he died. 
No, he didn't. He actually just moved to another location. He, he went into the witness protection system and, and, and was, was saved from a truly horrifying wet and wild death. Um, first we make them moist, then we kill them. That's the strategy. Harpy lady here, let's break her out of prison. My thanks, she says. My thanks. Give me five more fragments and I can get a unique frosty boy and I'll be a little bit happy and knowing that I've got two abilities on him instead of just the one. Please give me what I want. What I really, really want. Give me what I want, what I really, really want. Okay, Stone of the Air kind of sucks getting it at this point in the run. However, it does still count as being a boost. Two tactics. A five boost, which is another 15% on its own. Ah, my dilemma here is do I get rid of one of my Prayer of Grace items? I've got two Leonia with this. It's, it's kind of nice having double Leonia. I might get rid of Inner Flame. Four seconds of boosted magic damage is nice, but Water Skull is benefiting from setup. He needs to come out, throw his water on the ground, then go into water underground. And by the time he comes out and does most of his big burst, it's kind of too late to really matter. It's not really designed for what I'm doing, I guess. The, the, the item, I should say. Isn't really built for it. Yeah, let me let me get underwater real quick and, and yeah, th see there we go. See now we've got some splishies on the screen. We've got splishies on the screen. Here, let me let me introduce you to. Did that guy die on his own, or did the oh no the summons came out? The summons just died. That's all. Yeah, summon summon the spirit of the wet. We're summoning the spirit of moisture, the spirit of of wet times. Yo, Banshee, way to snipe those guys. Way to snipe those guys. I, I am still really confused as to why Frost Skull is getting more benefit on Nether Mana Suppressor. People are laughing at me. I can feel it. I, I got the, you know that feeling when you, you, you're you like stupid? Like, let's say hypothetically you've got a question in front of you that says, what's two plus two? And you're like, I know this. It's five. And you say five out loud. And then you immediately realize, wait a minute. What did I just say? I'm having that, that kind of crisis right now where I realize I'm probably being really dumb in not realizing what the effect is that's happening. But I really don't know what's happening. Let me take another look real quick. No. <laughs> no. Why? No. Wait. Wait. It's because he's balanced, right? It's to do with the witch traits, right? Balanced skulls naturally get more cooldown increase effects from the witch traits. That's the, that's the reason, isn't it? I bet that's the reason. I figured it out. Now you can stop laughing at me. It only took me half the run. Ha ha, yes, I understand. <laughs> Bill the stupid. What a stupid. Ha 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 ha. He's silly. I agree. I understand. Yo, these guys. Damn, was that all Banshee? Wow. I'm quite blown away by the performance that these boys are putting in. Like, Frost Skull is here as moral support. He's just kind of here to be here. Please, give me the adventurer, dude. He returns! The return of the boy! He's back! He's actually back! After being gone for so long, yo, we didn't really miss you, but it's good to have you back. What a rude way to go about it. Yeah, we didn't really miss you, but, you know, we've got you back. I was going to go under that. Yo, the damage, though. Um, I wouldn't mind. Ow. Dude, I actually have to, like, do my strategy again. This is sick. There we go. Big swap, go underwater. <laughs> wet. Is he just, is he actually just dead from the water? He is dead from the water. Duh, dude. That is insane. That does so much. Raven Lord. Mm. Raven Lord is legendary. And I'm going to get another buff to my, my pot of greed. That's why. I'm sorry, Banshee. Banshee is actually not bad. She's doing really well. I would have destroyed Samurai otherwise and upgraded Frostboy to Unique to get a second ability. You know what? I might just take a Skull Room for that purposes anyway. Just getting a second move on Frosty Boy is not bad. We're kind of playing the way that we're supposed to in the first place, which is to use, like, two Skulls. No, how about I go underwater? How about that? How about I go... How about I... How about I... How about I... Ugh, what if I just do this to you, huh? True rudeness over here. Magic, 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 ma max HP. Uh, it's not terrible, I guess. I can live with that. Then get underwater. Splish, splash. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Is he... Dude, he's not... He's dead! This is actually insane. Like, I can just swap around, throw out a stupid amount of, of 
um, water all over the screen. And then, like, that's it. That's all you need to do. That's all you need to do. It's doing so much. It doesn't need to do this much. But it is. And it's fun. <laughs> Here, uh, moisture. Oh, I thought it was going to be this one. I was, I was circling her like a shark underwater. I was thinking if the little uh, totem thing gets broken in time, I'll be able to... Um... Oh, the other one's broken. Cool. Uh, explode, lady. I was going to do like a really cool combo there, but it was too late. She was she was finished. Double spirits. We got the cape there. No. Oh, sea dagger. And I've just barely got enough money. This works. This works because I can get six out of seven tactics. That's an extra 30%. Maybe it's time to ditch Voodoo. No, Voodoo Doll's there for the pot of greed. Oh man, I've got to ditch one of my 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 prayer of grace blessings. Yeah, you know they've 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 done their work. They've they've done they've done their time. They've they've earned their their right to have rest. You know, they've, let's let them rest. You know, think of it that way. We're, we're letting them rest. We're not getting rid of them. We are allowing them some peace. It's been it's it's been wild out here on these streets. Okay, and they need they need a break. They're ready to retire. They've been on the force for a long time now. They're ready. F they're, they're, they're over it, dude. They're, they're so done with it. A bit like how I'm so done with this this particular setup of... This dude who spawns up here, he is, like, aggressively frustrating for me. It's, it's, it's crazy how he's just in the perfect spot to be just this little irritants. It's like, that should be his name. Like, his canon name is Irritants the, 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 the Candle Thrower, dude. Oh, yeah, get underwater. Oh, yeah. Bl oh, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. Have we not broken this thing yet? Here, let me come help. He can't turn invisible because there's too much wet all over the screen. I'm not going to worry about... See, I could re-roll and try and get his water tornado skill, but going underground in a pile of water and then just, just coming back out... Plus, I might lose my lake. And I don't want to lose the lake. The lake is cool. And I've got very little money left. Nah, let's just keep moving. I'm not going to re-roll. We've got the new move. I'm showing off the new move, and the new mechanics are all working just fine. I shouldn't even say new mechanics. The the old mechanics, as they are working in a new way, uh, just better, is, is going just fine. <laughs> and I'm at six out of seven tactics. I just need one more. Just give me that last tactics, and I will, I will be out of your hair. And into someone else's. Boom. He died. Okay, that man got sent into orbit. By a push of water. Ah, oh, the Hope Slasher. Ah, oh, the Hope Slasher, it hurts. Let me just adjust myself in my chair while I think long and hard about whether or not it's worth getting rid of Prayer of Grace for that extra 15%. How much do I lose with this? Um, let's see. So, 17% on the Nether Mana Suppressor. Oh, it's 12. So, 12% magic lost, but 15% magic gained. But I'm all, but it's 12% plus cooldown. The cooldown makes it worthwhile. Yeah, plus the Leonia. It's got better inscriptions. It's just, it's not worth a 3% damage boost. Look at me being greedy, trying to like min-max every little bit of damage possible. I just want that last tactics. Give me that final tactics so I can be really, really happy with a 7 out of 7 moisty, watery, dripping, sopping, just, just drenched water boy run. The drips. It's the drips run. All right, Th that that totem is destroyed, well and truly. Yep, yep. The moisture on the screen is making it really difficult for any of this other stuff to really be a threat. This is ridiculous. I realize we've got a lot of good. I look at all the moisture, dude. Okay, so my strategy is to get on the middle platform where Joan is and go absolutely ridiculous with it. Summon, summon, splash, splash. And then we just sit here and we just keep doing this. No, Joan. That's not the way you do this. Go under, underground, water. Joan. Oh, all she had, to, yeah, now you move back here. All right, all right. Moisture. I can stand still and punch. I don't have to move. He's doing a lot of damage. 
That's great. Yo, I like Water Skull. He's cool, dude. The stupid book. Oh, you know what? The book gets sold for a lot of money. By a lot of money, I mean like 500. <laughs> not that much. Okay, we we upgrade Frosty Boy. He gets his chance to upgrade. Not quite to Legendary, but close enough. Give me Freezing Field. <laughs> Thank you. Um, you didn't need to. You didn't need to give me Freezing Field, but I appreciate the fact that you did it anyway. You didn't have to. Boom. They're dead. I'm just going to walk away. This is ridiculous. He's like... He's like the water version of Fire Flask Alchemist. Maybe not as busted as Flame Flask Alchemist, I'll admit. Ooh, some troll would be nice. But then again, I can't give up my legendary uh, contestants. I'll lose too much damage from it. And I'm not going to get my... Oh, no! I could sell this. I could sell this. And it's still not enough, actually. I'd be like 20 gold short. Oh my... You know what? We don't need it. We don't need it. We don't need it. We don't need it. I use it all the time. We don't need it. We're on... What are we on? Six out of seven tactics. We don't need these wax steel dagger. We don't need it. We actually don't... Nah, it's not necessary. See? We've got the power of... of moisture. Look, if I just stand back, they're dead. They're dead. See? that We don't... We don't need these wax steel dagger. These wax steel dagger doesn't control me. Doesn't rule me. I don't need it. It's fine. It's fine, we're here. Thank you all for being here and being part of the moistiest, wettest, drippiest, soppiest, most disgustingly over moistened run of Waterboy we've had in a little while now. Look, damage, dude. He, he really sends out the wave. Is that 15 waves that he's up to? Damn. He really sends the waves. I hope you've enjoyed. I am thoroughly impressed with how Water Skull is playing now. That I'm I'm blown away with with the development team, Southpaw Games. I'm I'm incredibly impressed and excited and happy because you guys get it. So like like they they might make a mistake here and there with a skull, and it's not exactly working the way that they wanted it to, or the way that you know the, the players enjoy it. And they're not afraid to to do. That's a lot of damage. They're not afraid to own up to some mistakes, but they're not afraid to play around with fun. I love that. I love developers who are like, what would be the most fun option in this circumstance right now? Oh, clearly doing this. This would be the most fun option. You know, let's just let them have this. Let's give them this. Let's let them just go crazy with it. Let's have like, like 15 waves on the screen at once, which does seem to be the cap. Right? Is 15 waves the cap? So if I keep doing this, can I just keep <laughs> a lot of waves on the screen constantly? No, 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 no. I want, I want more. I want more moisture. No, 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 no. You are denying me the moisture that I am owed, hero. I want more. I won't be happy until I am the Lord of Atlantis. Well, that's why I'm called, I'm called Poseidon. I'm the Lord of the Ocean, basically. But at the same time, I won't be happy until this whole place is underwater. I, I, this place must be put underwater. I'm going to go hide in the corner over here for a second. No, don't touch me. No, don't do it. Wet. Underwater. I am under the water. Help me. <laughs> he's dead. I don't believe how strong he's become. Look at this. He's so good. I love it. It's so fun. And now, my beloved viewers, the thirst is quenched. At least for now, until I, until I, I become thirsty again. I need to go on a crazy water run and just drown out all of Carlean. But I hope you enjoyed the new updated, reforged, remade, re- moistened, I guess. Water run. <laughs> but with all of that said and done, I've got to get out of here. I hope you guys have enjoyed it, and I will see you all next time. Have a good one.